This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from Diagostini. If you'd like to build along, pop along to diagostini.com where you can order one for your very own. They also have several other part work build up models that you can build for everything from cars to boats and everything in between. So I'd like to thank them very much for giving me the opportunity to build this so you can all watch and see exactly how it all goes together. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models and a special welcome to issue 25. 25 is a number, isn't it? It's a, a nice round number that's not an even number, but it feels like it should be. It feels like we're getting somewhere with 25. So in this issue, we're going to be doing more than we did in 24. That's for sure. We're going to actually be putting some things together. Oh, look, McDonald's. Um, the Ford Thunderbird at NASCAR. Uh, NASCAR, obviously, the big oval racing. You only turn left or right. I don't know which way around they go. You only turn in one direction all the time on NASCAR, as far as I remember, that's the way it goes. But uh, yeah, it's a racing track. So that's a thing. Uh, Thunderbird's best driver was apparently Bill Elliott. There we go. Yeah, NASCAR. I, I remember the NASCAR computer game. That was quite impressive at it in its day. Doesn't look like much now, but there we go. Uh, so yes, this is what we're going to be doing. We're doing the instrument panel. Uh, we've got some bits and transparent bits and some fake switches and some stickers to put on of the dials and things. So we shall be doing those uh, and then putting all this behind the panel from last time. I believe it's got to be in there. Yeah, this is the panel from last time. So uh, yeah, that's that. And it will look like that when it's completed in the model. So without further ado, I shall get this out of the way. We'll bring in the part that we put aside from last time and the parts that we've got this time and we'll see about making them look good. Okay, supplied this time, we've got some stickers, a transparent piece, obviously for lighting, uh, the base that holds it all together, some more screws, which are these FP02 screws, and some fake switches. So from last time, kept it safe. See, there it is. Uh, we will be installing this, not to that though, we're installing this to this. So uh, let's have a look. The first one, oil one. I will put down my visor so I can get close and make sure I get it inaccurately and centered that will go on there just like that uh, next up we've got a two uh, which are the big one next big one the other five little ones all appear to be the same let's get that on there this goes on the big one obviously way around it's straight before pushing it down securely uh, and then the five other ones go onto these other five areas them on uh, I don't these are as I say not um, not labeled they are all the same I don't know what it is that they would be indicating. Obviously, oil and probably speed is the other one that I put on already. So these would be, I don't know, uh, maybe battery power. Could have a battery in it. Battery power. Um, I don't know. No idea at all. I can't think. What else? There's obviously lots of stats and things. In modern cars available you know on computer and things most of those would not be here now but there we go fuel maybe one of them possibly but uh yeah okay uh so that's those on there we shall recover this now and have it that way around uh where we're going to be putting these switches in place across there Again, can't quite tell which way up they are in the picture, but that's the way that they fit. So they'll have to go that way around. Get it the wrong way around, and it won't fit in there. So that's the little toggle switches in there. And if I let go of them now, they'll probably fall out. So let's leave it that way up for now. Uh, we then put the glass panel behind. Uh, so that's going to be that way round, like that. So that will come up 
behind all of these that we've got here. Okay, and that's going to go over the front of that. It can't go over the front of that. It must go behind. Oh, it's got to go behind the glass. So the, the glass will probably be illuminated, I would expect. That's got to go behind there, and that's what holds the switches in place as well. So they get lit from in front, which is quite an interesting way of doing it. Assuming it is lit, I'm not entirely certain. I haven't read up that much on it. But that's that there. Uh, secure it. Uh, two FPO screws, leaving the central one free. So we've got to put in the screws on the two outer edges here. I don't know why we're leaving the central one free, but that's what it says to do, so that's what I will do. Through, through there. Goes all the way through. Through the vacuum piece with the stickers on it through the um, transparent piece and into a bit on the front. So there we have that. Uh, that is now stage completed. not illuminated unless it's lit from the top it might just be a glass panel to go over the front of it, it doesn't really need to be illuminated not everything needs to light up so I'm quite happy with that that looks quite good it'd be nice if these switches control things but uh, yeah that does the job I'm happy with that there we go uh, that is it that is the end of this stage I've got some rubbish to get rid of some screws to put aside until I finish the month's build and that's that. There's two more issues in today's pack, in today's delivery. So uh, I shall get on with those and you'll be able to see those in just a couple of days. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.